Loved every minute of it, and rightly so. There's been some terrific matches. Now come the two archers, Thomas, Chirot, and Baptiste Addis. Chirot, of course, an Olympian from Tokyo. World archery silver medalist. Chirot has uh, won gold medals in World Cups, European Games. European Youth Championships indoors, the European indoors as well. And what about this lad? Baptiste Addis. 16 years old. He looks very confident. Extremely confident, doesn't he? Well, Chirot's got into the final with no shoot-offs. On all his matches, 7 1, 6 2, 6 2, 6 4. And Addis needed one shoot off in the 1 8 eliminations against Sachin Gupta of India. Beat him by firing or shooting a 10. Big win for him in the quarters. Miguel Alvarino Garcia was his, was his uh, opponent that he beat there. Big win for him. Garcia, very accomplished archer, right? Unbelievably, yeah. Yeah. I... We'll see how he gets on in the big arena in the big match. So here we go. It's the gold medal match. Shiro in the white. Addis in the red. Shiro to go first. Does he realise he's 16 in the biggest arena in archery yet? Like, wow. Now there's the first 10 for Chirot. 9 or a 10 will get the set for the youngster. And 10, 10, 10. Wow. Oh, he looks very composed, doesn't he? He looks unbelievable. I guess you're getting your first look at him, John. Are you in this uh, uh, in this match here? It's, he, he's got the form of somebody who's been shooting in the biggest arenas in archery for ten years. He looks composed. He looks strong. You know, he looks. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, beyond impressed with him. Well, he started off fantastically well. Nimes has thrown up a lot of future superstars in these finals. Well, let's see if he can carry it on here. Look at uh, Clement's pinky. He's just rolling through here. Just, just looks like practice. Chirot's just not quite finding his range at the moment. He's, no, he's pulling them left. Like this lead. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Five teams on the trot to start a match. Not phased at all, is he? Mm. 
Oh. First miss there, which means it'll be a shared set. Now, Shiro will be happy to get on the board. Addis is going back through his record here. Did with bronze in the individual European Youth Championships last year. Got silver medal in the team's event. Yeah. Two-time winner on the European Youth Cup circuit as well. And that's really it. Kind of burst onto the scene last year. Yeah, I've heard about, I think I've heard about him from our, our youth team coaches have mentioned this really impressive uh, lad from, from France. So, yeah, to see him out here performing in, in front of all these people like he is, absolute testimony to him. I've got a feeling this won't be the last time we see him. No. Well, he can continue to score as heavily as he has here. And he'll be in plenty of big events around the world for many years to come. So Chirot's yeah. got his hands full here. Three set points to one in favour of the 16-year-old. And another slight uh, radar miss there for Chirot. <laughs> 18 months out from Paris Olympics. What a dream for France. Wow, he is just a metronome at the moment. He is just nailing it every time. I'm just thinking Sharon needs a 10 more than ever now, and he gets one. So yep. Adis now needs a 10 for a 5-1 lead. And he oh. just misses. So it's another tied set. I don't know if that was a let off. Now, John, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know if that's a let off or uh, a, just a bit of pressure. But yeah, he's still looking superb. And but Clement's not doing enough to to get any points back, is he? Sorry, Shiro. He's not doing thirties, and that's what he needs. So we're still getting the ties. Interesting, though, Adis could have won those last two sets. He had yeah. both sets on his on his uh, bow there, and we could be staring. We, we, the match could be over now, 6-0. Yeah. But really Chiro is hung, hanging in there. So I guess Adis knows deep down that he could have won but you know there's no point thinking about it it's just all about the next arrow so Shiro down 4-2 he's starting to find his range now that's three tens in a row for Thomas Chiro. Look at that. That first target face of Addis is, would all be compound hands. That's a really good observation. Because remember the compound 10 ring is half the size yep. of the recurve one. Sharon now needs a 10 here to stay alive in the match. Well, he guarantee his survival, and he's got it. That's great archery from him. What an important three arrows. That Addis comes back with a 10 as well. Two perfect sets there yeah. for the archers. No let off this time from Addis. He, he wasn't going to let Shiro get the two points to put himself now into a match winning position. 
Well, that's three tied sets in a row now between these two. So nothing between them. But Chirot's got to win the set now. To send it to a shoot-off. What a way to bring down the curtain here at Neem in 2023, if that was to happen. So here we are, fifth and final set of the men's recurve gold medal match. Baptiste Addis of France, the 16-year-old, up 5-3 on this man right here, Thomas Chirot. Both archers off perfect sets in the fourth. Wow, Chirot is really going well now. It's seven tens game. in a row. Yep. Look at that. But back comes Addis. So Chirot needs a 10 here to have any chance. He's got it. He's got it. So now Addis for the match. He needs a 10. Otherwise, we go to a shoot off. Oh, you just, oh, he's just missed. Wow. You, you knew it. You knew that was going to miss. He was just a bit long on his shot. He, he tensed. You saw him tense up. You're like, I was screaming inside at him. <laughs> yeah. John, what about Thomas Chirot? Unbelievable effort from him. Eight tens in a row to end that match. He, he has dialed up the game 200%. So obviously we've got a shoot off, yeah? And Chirot's gone from about a 5 out of 10 on his first few arrows to shoot in at 11 out of 10 level. Adis <laughs> Baptiste looked like he'd been in this game for 20 years until that final arrow and then... Just that little bit of an experience there. You know, what a learning moment for him. And now we've got to shoot off with... Adis is just shooting compound tens, remember, for this shoot off. Wow. What a match here. So it comes down to a one-arrow shoot off. Here in the prestigious Neem Indoor event here. Part of the World Archery Indoor Series. Thomas Chirot, eight tens in a row to come back yep. from, a, from really the depths of defeat the 16 year old Baptiste Addis had this match wrapped up he could have won it in three straight sets 6-0 yeah. so here Body we go one arrow yep. yes indeed one arrow closest to the centre wins Chiro to go first. Oh, it's not quite dead center, but it's very, very close. Ardis is going to have to go dead center here. Oh, he's just a side. I don't know if he's got it. I reckon Chirot might be just a smidgen closer. That, that, that's going to have to be measured officially. That could be reshoot territory. Well, let's see. Nervous times for both archers. It's out of their hands now. Everyone looking down at the target end. That is Adisa's arrow, but Chirot's been given the win. Yep. What a tremendous win for him.